everybody, good morning. My name is Fernando. Um, I came from Brazil to present my work called Design of a Water Quality Modeling to cope with my point of cheese. I came from Brazil and I like to start my presentation uh, asking for apologize about my English because I don't speak English very well. Uh, we speak Portuguese in Brazil. Or as we said, we speak Brazilian there because Portuguese Brazilian is different from Portugal. Uh, I like to start a presentation talking a little about me, so you would become more comfortable, comfortable to talk with me after the presentation or to ask some questions. I came here with who uh, and who am I? I am an environmental engineer, uh, graduated in the university local where I study, and I came with my teacher, my professor. Uh, Walter who is seated there, or you can see the photograph. And it's my first time in Europe too. So I, my first impression is that everything is beautiful and Netherlands is a great country. We came with two uh, works, two presentations. The first one I'm pre presenting uh, it's now, I'm presenting now, and the second is a hydrological model coping with my window that's going to be presented tomorrow. So uh, do, uh, tomorrow night, uh, Thursday. So don't lose it. It's going to be a great presentation. It's a great work, and we have a, a big community of users. Um, this is only a tip for you. The place where we came is on the south of Brazil, there, uh, the, the city is called Porto Alegre, and it's uh, not, it's very far away from Rio de Janeiro and other known cities, but it's a good place, we have really good things there, we had a great soccer team, we had great things to eat, great history, and we have very beautiful human there. That's the most important. But we had problems too. We had water quality problems. Those are some headlines for new papers there uh, showing some water quality problems that uh, caused by different kinds of discharges of pollens in the rivers. When the, those discharges are uh, spilled in the river, they travel downstream and cause different kinds of problems to different kinds of water users. There is a good photo, photographs I catch from Duarte uh, showing a spill in the river. And uh, in this case, water uh, Quality modelings are great tools to access those problems. Usually, uh, water quality models, models have uh, uh, these problems that they are not fully coupled with GIS, uh, they are not coupled with hydrologic models, so you can't get the hydraulic information of the river directly of hydrologic models. Uh, they only represent permanent uh, pollen discharge, like uh, permanent sewer discharge. They are not intuitive or as applicable as these ones that we use in Brazil. Or if they are, they are too expensive or difficult to use. And this is our motivation. We want to do a model that's fully complex with GIS, in this case with map window, uh, that's coupled with hydrological model that we uh, work in Brazil. That's the model is going to be presented on Thursday for large rivers simulations. Uh, it represents every kind of discharge, like a spill or a, a continuous discharge. It's 
intuitive and easy to use, and that represents uh, every kind of dispersions, advention and decay of pollens in the rivers. And then, uh, uh, the model name that you are preparing is called Water Quality Analytical Simulator. In Portuguese, the acronym is CIACWA. These are the kinds of discharge that can be uh, spilled in the river. It can be a discharge with uh, a momentaneous discharge, or it can have a, a duration. It can be a continuous start in the time zero and then uh, continuous, or it can have started in the past and is here since nowadays. Those are some equations, I will not talk about them, just show to show that how oh, I know equations. <laughs> I'm an engineer, I have to show equations in my presentations. This is how we consider the basin. We simply uh, represent the stream uh, by subdividing it in river reaches. So we represent the, how the, the basin which uh, very small reaches. And for small basins, you just need, you can manually input the data. But if it's a, a large basin, like that one that I showed before, you, you, we can use uh, directly the results from the MGB PH model that's also developed in our laboratory. And this is the water quality modeling tool that I am developing and uh, presenting today. It's a plugin working on Map Window 4. There is the plugin, the main menu. For uh, the discharge input, it's very simple. You just need to locate the place and click on the map with the mouse. Then uh, a window will appear. You just you have to enter some information about the pollen discharge, like the kind of discharge and the concentration. Some parameters about the river. And then the, the first result is the dispersion uh, with colors. Black colors is high concentration. It's a, a big problem. If the colors are more green or yellow, the concentration is lower. And then you can also access uh, polluto graphs, like this one, showing the contaminant dispersion. Here we can see time and concentration, and you can access oh, how many time will the the, the pollen needs to travel along the river. And you can access uh, the, these pollutographs of uh, every place. You can also have other informations about the, the discharge, like Oh, the, the limit is above or below the limit established for the river. And you can uh, input multiple discharges in the same basin. Uh, now it's, I'm going to put a discharge on the other industry there. And now the, the, they are represented together in the basin. And you can access the pollution graphs of the different places. Those are other graphs of other kinds of uh, pollutant, pollutant discharge, like intermittent, and this is a continuous discharge. And we hope that our model will be used for different kinds of things, 
like evaluation of environmental impacts, institutes of expertise, decision support, protection of water supply system uh, in real time, uh, risk analysis, and uh, others water quality centers assessments. And in the near future, we intend to uh, do some field studies with tracers, maybe test another approach, other equations, and further model application. And that's it. Thank you.